Hey guys, my name is Matthew and this is Kramer. Today we're going to be talking about lamp working. Yeah! My name is Kramer and I'm a lamp worker. A lamp working is pretty much what you would start out doing. Like if you're gonna start out working with glass, you would be lamp working. Glass blowers, uh, they don't work with a single torch most of the time. Glass blowing is with much more equipment, much higher tech equipment. Um, the things that you see on TV or like the Instagram videos where they pull this glob of glass out of this furnace and then they got a four person team of where they're rolling it and molding it and pulling it and adding to it and taking out of it. But yeah, so I'm not a glass blower as much as I am a lamp worker, but if I would say that I'm a lamp worker, you probably wouldn't know what that means. Um, so I say glass blower most of the time and it gets the idea across. So. I first got started with lamp working uh, my senior year. I had the best art teacher in the world. She spared a lot of her art budget getting me the propane tanks and you know like propane torch heads and things like that to let me do this in class, like in our classroom. What I started off with was a simple propane tank, like camping propane tank. It's uh, It wasn't even like a big one. I think it was about four, four bucks. The torch head that I got was a super common torch head that wasn't above $20. I invested around $40 into the torch head that I use now. Glass is the most expensive part. Um, it's about $16 for 20 rods of glass, which is a lot. It'll last you a long time. You will also need an annealing blanket. It's a special blanket that's used a lot in like temperature insulation and it's very like easy to find you can find it online the thing I love about glass is pulling all of those techniques together into one figurine that you would not guess a designer put so much and thought about so much beforehand before putting it on um, I've probably done over 20 dolphins um, and each of them is like I'm working on what to do when and what design works best when I do it in this order it's all about order and uh, perfection and just getting those details right and when to do the details etc um, but putting all that together and getting a, a piece that you can see and that you can feel um, you just know there is so much work put into that and it represents so much and that's what I love so much about glass blowing and lamp working. If you're thinking about starting glass, I'd say do it. Stick with it, do it, you will see progression. You'll love the things you make and you'll love the things you make because you know them so intimately and you know what it took to put into those pieces and you get to make that, you get to do that. Um, so I'd say do it. Um, if you're thinking about it, do it. Uh, take that step. Uh, be an adventurer of life um, and you'll love it. I just trust me, it's great. Thanks so much for watching guys. If you appreciated that content, feel free to like and subscribe. We put out new content every single week. See you next time.